Now, what makes Words and Pictures a Fred Shepsey film? People can describe it as a rom-com all they like. <laughs> but if I didn't know this was directed by Fred Shepsey, I reckon I could have watched it for about 20 to 30 minutes and I would have been able to have a pretty good guess that it was you. Mm. What makes a film a Fred Shepsey film? Uh, I have a technical grammar, um, certain technical capabilities that you can't always use in a film. You know, the story uh, dictates what you can use in the end and you really shouldn't be doing anything other than using a technique that enhances the, that story and lets the actors be free to express what they need to. Um, but there is a certain grammar in the, in the way I move cameras and the way uh, I cut straight on line, those kind of things, in the way I do transitions because I think it's always the people that you're interested in and their emotional through line that you should be following. Too many people, you know, let's say you go into the past, you will cut to the past and you'll see a perambulator go past a poster that tell you that you're in 1800 or something. If you were in 1800, you would never shoot that. It's of no interest, right? So why are you shooting it just because you're going into the past? If you go from one situation to another, uh, how often have you seen in a film, y you go from some situation and then there's the Ferris wheel and the clowns and the fire jugglers uh, to say, oh, guess where you are, you're in a circus. Uh, before you get to the people, screw all that. Go to the people. What's the next thing they're thinking? What are they doing? You'll find out that you're in a circus. You know, that'll be a little extra plus for you to pick up on, and that'll enhance the drama in the right way. So that's uh, one of my things. And also, shoot dialogue like action. Right? Most people shoot dialogue. Most, a lot of directors are bravura when it comes to non-dialogue. As soon as they start the dialogue, it's cut, 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 fly shot, cut, 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 medium shot, cut, 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 reverse, you know. Um, use the camera uh, to, to n not to draw notice to the camera, but to see what, you know, to see different aspects of the person, what their relationship is to the other people, who is the important person in the scene, when do you bring them in, all that stuff. Be careful of being intellectual in, in that... Uh, best way of describing this is if I get you to do something if I upset you right the whole world knows you know you're gonna break into tears or you're gonna pick up a monitor and bong me on the head with it and an intellectual cut is cut outside and see you storm out of the room or me storm out of the room holding my head you know it's clever it's smart and everything but guess what you've actually lost emotion um, it's not about manipulation and and the other thing I learned in America was uh, if you set up an emotional thing hold the emotion when you get to it for longer and, and I had an editor who used to force me to hold it uh, twice as long as I ever did and he kept trying to force me to hold it twice as long as that and I went <laughs> get out of here you're making me cringe but, but, uh, but the thing was if I tell you a joke, or if, or if it's a comedy, and I get you to laugh, I must allow you to laugh, right? It's the emotional release. Well, emotions are exactly the same. If I have built something and, you know, a promise to you experiencing an emotion, I have to allow you to have that emotion, to, you know.